I think my first experience with animatronics was Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah. There's like a big moose head on the wall that sings. It sang like Joy to the World. And the Haunted Mansion at Disneyland. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's like yes. some Disneyland. fucked up sad dog like howling in a cemetery. Yeah. And that really scared me and I had no idea how they did that. I love the animatronics at Disneyland and I just went there for the first time like two months ago. By Dang. himself. I went by myself. Dang. Yeah, I love the like the boat, the Mark Twain boat on mm -hmm. in Disneyland. And you go around and there's like animatronic Native American like chief guys like or, or there's like a family and they're like preparing dinner or something and they're so like rigid and weird and yeah. it's like I don't know it feels really perverse or something yeah and I like that Cody uh, Cody has been make had an art show that was all these weird animatronic he like took kids toys like a tickle me Elmo mm -hmm. for instance mm -hmm. and took all the fur and stuff off and then gave it his own skins and furs and yeah. these dangling gooey eyeballs and like tongues and yeah. they're so cool. Yeah, I mean, we used them at the record release show. We set them up on the stage and there was a big thing of buttons and you could like push them and each one would like do a different weird thing. Mm. But I was using like real animal fur so they kind of look like taxidermy like disasters a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Like what attracts you about it? What's interesting to you about it specifically? I think is it because you're uncomfortable, sort of? With I think it? that. Yeah. What's that? What's that term? Uncanny valley. The uncanny valley. There's a graph that's like the how much people trust things, and the the very bottom is like a smiley face, and it's like okay, that or how much it's like how much you trust it, and how much it, you recognize it as like real. So smiley face is at the bottom, and then you get like a cartoon character is like. You trust it a little bit more, it's a little bit more like lifelike, and you're like, okay, I like believe this thing more is like, is more real, a moving, living creature. And as you get farther and farther, and it becomes more human. It becomes that like, that like uh, green fairy with the giant pointy boobs in um, Legends of Zelda or whatever so game you guys are you playing. You get to a point where it looks like it's really close to looking human, and you're like, Oh, that's a human, but then it doesn't quite look right. And then the believability, it's like this chart and it like drops and you're like so creeped out by it. Because it's so close to real, but there's things that are yeah. off. Yeah. yeah. Like it's all the like, expressions, like on Pirates of the Caribbean, all the expressions that the pirates make, you're just waiting the whole time for them to lock eyes with you. I yeah. mean, that's how I feel around any animatronic. <laughs> or like, I used to have this cabbage patch I was super into Cabbage Patches when I was a kid, and I had this really special one that got recalled the same day it was released. It was released on Christmas Day of like 1995. They, it like ate, you could feed it vegetables and like yeah. fruit and food and shit, but it ate, sucked up a little girl's hair and scalped her. Whoa. So they recalled it the same fucking day because they were like, we would never expect that to happen. <laughs> anyway, so I had this little Cabbage Patch that I could love so much but I kept waiting to like wake up and find him sucking on my hair you know, I don't know. <laughs> so that's sort of like love for things that are strange or that's like quite like, yeah. creepy that's right on the edge of like being uh, yeah. yeah I think that's pretty yeah or like mind. what doesn't make this real yeah, yeah 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 it's very like surreal surreal maybe that's it yeah